We all know that mastery of something comes through doing the thing over and over and over again. Let me ask you a question. Is there something you can tell people, I do this effortlessly, and you actually make it look easy, where the person says, wow, I could never do that. Apart from typing on your phone, we can all impress our parents and grandparents by typing WhatsApp messages and how fast we do it. Answer the question, seriously. So at 20-something, 30-something years old, you cannot mention one thing that you do that you make look easy. That is generally praiseworthy. Okay, let me ask you another question. Do you often see yourself asking yourself, how can I stop procrastinating? How can I find motivation to continue to learn Arabic? If that's you, that's the problem. And this is why you need to watch this video until the end because I will tell you how to completely destroy this cycle and achieve your goals like a boss, not only in Arabic, but in other aspects of your life. How do you think these kids, they memorize the Quran cover to cover? and can name any verse you ask them about. Let's take it out of our field. Let's go to basketball, for example. How do you think Jordan became Jordan? Kobe became Kobe. Steph Curry became Steph Curry. Repetition of the thing over and over again. You see, failure cannot cope with consistency. If you do something enough times, you will be better than the average person at one point. Mastery of something only comes through doing the thing over and over again. We all know this. Well, our intellect knows this, but oftentimes our system, our body, finds it hard to adapt to this and to believe it. So when you want to start something new, you say, I'm going to start learning Arabic, and you tell your whole system. Now your system receives this information and looks for previous data of you having accomplished something as big as this goal, as this objective that you just set yourself to. So if your system doesn't find something that was accomplished similar to this goal, it turns on this defense mechanism that triggers your body, triggers your brain, triggers your nerves by making it hard to do the tasks that lead to the accomplishment of that goal. When I was younger, I had the problem of jumping from thing to thing. And in all of those realms, I learned a little bit of it, but I didn't learn enough. So when I stopped doing that and I started to stick to one thing, that's when I started to develop outstanding skills in particular fields. And that is only because of this concept, sticking to the thing and understanding that if I keep doing this thing over and over and over and over, there is no other outcome but for my body to adapt, for my mind to adapt, for my whole system to adapt, and for me to become outstandingly good at this thing. This is a concept that is highly embedded in our religion. Once Imam al-Bukhari, rahimahullah, he was asked about a medicine for hifd, something that you that the student can take and it makes his hifd, his memory stronger. So Al Imam Al Bukhari, he said in his own words, لا أعلم شيء أنفع للحفظ من نهمة الرجل ومداومة النظر. There is nothing else than for the person to really want it, to be enthusiastic about it. You want it so much that it doesn't matter how many hours you slept in the night, your eagerness to do that thing wakes you up. That's the first thing that you need. The second thing is literally مداومة النظر. Just keep on revising, keep on doing that thing. Keep on looking at the thing, keep on doing the thing. The concept is so simple, but it's not easy. And this is so important for you to understand. Even the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said, Inna Allah yuhibbu idha amila ahadukum amalan an yutqinahu. And this, this hadith was reported by Aisha radiallahu anha and it was graded Hassan by Al-Imam Al-Albani rahimahullah. 
Allah loves that when a servant does whatever, he does it at its most capable way of doing that thing. He has to try and perfect it. He has to be a professional and has to aim to be a professional at that thing. So these concepts are highly embedded. And you as a Muslim, you should not only understand this, but internalize it and apply it in all realms, in all aspects and fields of your life. This goes for being a good husband. This goes for being a good son. This goes for being a good Muslim. This goes for being a good businessman. Whatever you do, if you adapt these concepts that our precious deen gave us, you will become outstandingly good and you will make things that are hard easy. Tell yourself that whatever happens, however you feel, whatever comes into your life, however difficult it is, no matter what, you will do that thing 500 times as close as possible. If it's not every day, at least every other day. But stick and tell yourself that no matter what happens, you will do that thing 500 times. So take a schedule, take a graph, take a diagram, whatever it might be with 500 cases. And every time you do that thing once, scratch one of those cases and don't stop until you do that thing 500 times. With these, I'm trying to tell you, stick to learning the Arabic language. However hard it is, however difficult it is for you to memorize the words, however many words you forget, it doesn't matter. Keep on doing it. Commit to doing the thing 500 times. Do Arabic 500 times. Tell yourself, I won't stop until I do it 500 times. With this, my intention is that you will see that at the end of those 500 times, you will be outstandingly good. And anybody around you will be able to see it if they saw your beginning. And if you want to actually see it yourself, record yourself the first day that you start and record yourself the last day. And you will see the amazing results. See you in the next one. Assalamu alaikum.